it's Marianne the Frugal Chef. Hey, let's talk about herbs today, okay? I want to show you what herbs I always have in my refrigerator, what herbs I don't, but you know, maybe we can talk about how to use them. And uh, just talk about herbs, okay? Let's start with parsley, okay? Parsley comes in curly and then it comes in flat. What's the big, big difference between them? Not much, okay? Um, this is easier to chop, the flat. The curly has a little more character. I always, always have parsley in my refrigerator. And most of the time, it's curly. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm curly. I'm biased to it, okay? Um, you know, this has more of a parsley flavor as it gets older, and this gets a little more woodier, okay? And like, I use parsley a lot for sauces and for stews and things, especially for my bases on my stews, like my lentil stew or if I'm gonna make a meat stew, I always add, you know, parsley in it. And I, lo I love the flavor it gives to it, okay? Um, I don't like dried parsley. I, I like it fresh and it's, it's not an expensive item. It lasts quite a bit in the refrigerator if you keep it nice and dry, okay? Um, so, you know, why not? I buy the fresh. Now, I make tabbouleh a lot, and I definitely use the curly parsley for that, okay? Um, I like it better. Okay, so, parsley. First herb that's in my refrigerator always. Next one is cilantro. Now, cilantro and flat parsley, ay, yeah, yeah, they look a lot alike. Okay, so if you're not familiar with them, it's kind of hard sometimes to know which one to buy. Of course, if they have a label, she's a cake, but not, that's not always the case, okay? So what do you do? Now, if you notice, the leaves of the parsley are a little longer, okay? Although they look almost identical, they're a little skinnier. Cilantros tend to be a little fuller, okay? But more importantly, if you pull off the leaf and you smell it, the parsley, there's no no way to make any mistake there. It's, it smells like parsley. The cilantro, if you don't know what parsley smells like, pull a piece of the curly one off and smell that one. <laughs> okay. The cilantro, on the other hand, you know, cilantro comes from the coriander plant and it has a completely different scent to it. it it's fresh. It, it's... Um, I don't know, kind of lemony, I'd say. Very, very nice, uh, very different, okay? So if you have to go and buy them and you don't know the difference, try smelling them and, uh, and, and that should help you, okay? But I always, always have cilantro in my refrigerator because, you know, I love making sauces and I like making Mexican food and salsas and all that kind of stuff, so that's a given. But I also like using it in, you know, like sometimes I don't feel like eating meat or I'm just lazy, you know, I don't want to cook. So let's say I make a nice light broth and then I just put chopped scallions in it and some chopped cilantro in it and it makes it so fresh and you know, so, so much better than just a cup of broth. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I use it in a lot of things. Um, I'll put cilantro, of course, in, in my stir fries, you know, if I'm cooking Asian food, I love it. So always always have cilantro now cilantro does not last as long as the parsley does it'll go bad fast so don't go and buy a huge bag of cilantro you know sometimes you go to the mexican market and it's nine bunches of cilantro for 99 cents i'm not kidding you you know that's how you can get it well unless you're going to be cooking a lot a lot a lot of mexican food that week don't buy the nine bunches of cilantro because it'll go bad on you and it'll go bad fast so Buy a small bunch, use it, and then buy fresh next time, okay? You want to use it for whatever you're making. So, cilantro. Next thing I always have in my refrigerator is basil. I love basil. It is so, oh, it smells so good. It's so fresh and so, oh, and you know, it, it's great. It's kind of minty. It comes from the mint family. And it's, you know, it's wonderful. Naturally, great additive, if you're, you know, for your pasta sauces and your marinara sauces or any Italian sauces you might be making. But it's also really, really nice in salads, 
you know. I like to just chop some leaves and put it in my green salad. Or as I, you know, on, on soup on top. Oh, very nice. Speaking of that, garnishing soups with chopped parsley, very nice. It gives it a really nice, you know, different look because you've got that green on top and it just enhances the flavor. Very recommended. But, so I always, always have basil in my refrigerator. Basil will last longer than cilantro, but you do need to keep it dry, okay? It's not gonna last forever, none of the, the herbs will, but uh, if you buy it, make sure you use it as fast as you can so you don't have to throw it away, okay? Delish. You know what? In the summer, I like to make spaghetti with just olive oil, fresh chopped basil, and tomatoes in it. Very nice, super fresh. One fourth herb that I always have in my fridge is thyme. I love fresh thyme. It smells so good, it's so unique, you know, and it's, it's so delicate, it's not gonna overpower your food, and it's just gonna add so much to your meat dishes, you know, to, uh, your stews, your braces. I, I, I love to just cut the sprigs and put them in their hole and then the little leaves come off. And oh, mm -hmm, Very, very good. You know what I love this on? Scrambled eggs. Uh, try scrambling an egg with some uh, sun-dried tomato and thyme on it. Wonderful. Also for roasting tomatoes in the oven. Little tomatoes, you know, you cut them in half and you put olive oil on them and you put a bunch of thyme on top and salt and pepper in the oven, roast them. Oh, delish, super delish, very nice. I'm getting hungry here. Um, but I always have uh, fresh thyme in my refrigerator. Thyme will last for a while as well, okay? Um, don't forget it in the back because it's not going to last that long. But it will. And, you know, all you need is a little bit, again, unless you're going to be producing massive amounts of food that have time in them. Okay? Okay, those are the four herbs that I always, always have in my refrigerator fresh. Okay?